and welcome back to another cool tech video with me mr money bags in today's video we're going to be talking about the latest development in the world of internet connectivity and as you may already know elon musk's internet company starlink is set to launch its satellite based internet service in kenya towards mid 2023 that's around june this year in fact, the company is launching its services in several African countries throughout 2023 and 2024. And you can visit the official Starlink website to check out all the countries in which it plans to launch in those years. Now, Starlink is a project that was started by SpaceX in 2015. And as you might already know, SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk. Starlink's goal is to provide internet access to remote and underserved areas around the world. Since 2015, SpaceX has launched thousands of small satellites into orbit as part of the Starlink network. Starlink provides internet connectivity by beaming the internet down from the satellites to users on the ground at super fast speeds. And this low latency and high speed of Starlink's internet service could potentially help bridge the digital divide in Africa and provide internet access to people in remote and rural areas who currently have very limited or no access to the internet. Now, currently in Kenya, the company is said to be working with Kenyan regulatory bodies, aka the government, to gain approval to start operations in the country. Interested Kenyans can place an order for the service by depositing $99 on the official Starlink website, which is fully refundable if you don't like the service. $99 is about 12,200 shillings. Starlink is targeting areas like Nairobi, Nakuru, Mombasa, Kisumu, and their surroundings. And Starlink has promised to provide a more affordable and reliable alternative to traditional terrestrial based internet services in Kenya provided by companies like Safaricom, Zuku, Airtel and Telcom. Considering that Safaricom and the other major players have spent billions of shillings building their internet infrastructure in the past several years, Starlink's entry will equally be met with stiff competition. But if Starlink's internet is faster and cheaper than the local ISPs, they will most likely take the market by storm. The launch of Starlink in Kenya is expected to have a positive impact on the country's economy and society by making it possible for people in remote and underserved areas to access education, healthcare, and other essential services online. It will also support economic development and job creation by providing access to online markets and digital business opportunities that are only accessible through the internet. And this falls perfectly in line with the Kenya government's digital master plan, which I actually published a detailed report on in my previous video. If you haven't seen it yet, I encourage you to check it out by clicking the card appearing at the top right corner of this video after this. So there you have it. To sum it up, the launch of Starlink in Kenya is a major step forward in improving internet connectivity in the country. With its high speed, low latency internet access, Starlink will bring much needed upgrades to internet connectivity in remote and underserved areas and open new economic development and job creation opportunities. It will also bring a new level of competition to the internet market and it will be interesting to see how the local ISPs like Safaricom and Zuku will adopt to this new reality. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest in tech and money in Kenya and Africa at large. My name is Mr. Moneybags. See you in the next one. Peace.